If you like pedals but hate spending money, then today's video is for you. We got a pre-MDI, we got a delay, we got a compressor and we got an overdrive, all from Kellin pedals and all very affordable. So let's try them out. Hi, my name is Gregor. Today I'm accompanied by Frank Itter on bass and here we have a bunch of Kellen pedals. I've never heard of this brand before and maybe you haven't either, but there's no shame, just a never ending curiosity to try things out that we haven't tried yet. And yeah, all of it, the good, the bad, the boutique and the, the iPreamps with built-in distortion for less than 40 bucks. <laughs> That's a lot better than I expected. I mean, they forgot to tighten this nut here, but uh, the sound is pretty decent, I would say. So now let's check what this harmonics control here is doing. <laughs> Again, very useful and very decent sounding. Otherwise, you get all your standard things. Bass in and outputs, an XLR DI out for recordings or live gigs, a low and a high EQ, the drive control, harmonics, a master volume and even a mix for the drive. I have nothing to complain here. This is actually an awesome pedal. Next up is their digital delay and we will try all of the different delay sounds that it has, except for those who don't work with the pattern that Frank is playing. <laughs> Yeah, a reverse delay is something a little bit different, but let's just give Frank another shot. Beautiful and again very decent pedal. This one has a bunch of really cool sounds in it, so great job. And next one is the compressor. <laughs> This bass compressor is very subtle, so don't freak out if you can't hear a difference. It's just, it tightens your tone a little bit, it gets a little bit punchier, it's just a little bit more focused. The controls here are comp for the amount of compression, attack decides how fast the effect kicks in, sense seems to be the sensitivity which I don't fully understand in this context, but uh, however, uh, here we have an input gain and a master volume. Not a spectacular pedal, but it does its job and I think it actually sounds okay, so okay done and uh, last but not least the overdrive that you've already heard in the intro <laughs> The 
this pedal, not a big fan, to be honest. I mean, it works well if you just want to get your sound a little bit dirtier, but I'm personally, I'm missing a little bit gain, or let's say I would, I'm missing earlier gain. I think that could just be a little bit more going on here. But again, don't forget these pedals cost next to nothing and uh, this always has to be in consideration when you're talking about quality and sounds here. Just in comparison, in the next weeks we will record the new Adam pedal from Darkless Electronics, which is way above 500 bucks and for 500 bucks you can't just equip an entire pedal board with these pedals, you can equip actually several bands with these pedals. So that's what we're talking about. Long story short, mm. Yeah, an okay pedal. That was fun and great pedal. And that's it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, just as always, just put them in the comment section below. I will get back to you and otherwise see you next time and Merry Christmas. Bye bye.